Welcome to One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue covering the new edition of Warhammer 40k as we look at the fundamentals of the game. GW has improved the way we play by introducing the new data sheets. Each unit now has its own data sheet, which will include the unit icon, which represents the unit battlefield role, and the power level. The power level is GW's interesting attempt at allowing you to play a quick game. The power level itself is a rough estimate of the unit's effectiveness in battle and does not include any weapon upgrades. It is important to note that they are not getting rid of the point system we have today, but if you and your friends want to play a quick mission for a campaign, you guys can pick out basic units from your armies and get a game going without having to sit there for half an hour and trying to build your own army to match points. The exact point value of each unit will still be found in the new books, but will not appear in these data sheets. Honestly, I think this is great. My biggest pet peeve is when friends don't have army lists ready. It really delays the game. Now we can get the game going faster by basing it off of these power levels. Then we have the unit profiles. As you guys can see, GW has improved the weapon skill, ballistic skill, and save profile to depict the exact number you need to roll in order to use the profile. No more subtracting 7. We also get a new profile. This new profile is the movement profile, which gives you the unit's movement distance. War gear options are listed next, along with the stats of the weapon that the unit may take. Because many units have a plethora of weapon upgrades, not all options will be listed in the datasheet. The abilities will also appear in the datasheet, along with descriptions of the special rules the units may have. GW says the bulk of the special rules will be written in full, but there might be army-wide or common rules that do not get described. After special abilities, any psychic power will be listed along with a description of how to use that specific power. At the very bottom, you have the keywords. There are two types of keywords, faction keywords, which are what you use when selecting your detachment for a battleforge army, and often trigger in-game effects regarding what units gain benefits for certain characters, or what units can travel in specific transports. And then you have the other type of keywords. These are used for more basic battlefield effects, such as gaining benefits or being affected by other enemy rules. All in all, I really love the power level idea and the data sheet. The data sheet itself is very similar to what I already use on Battlescribe. It's an app on your phone, which basically gives you your entire army stats in one quick snapshot just what these uh, data sheets are for and then as far as the power levels uh, again one of the biggest pet peeves of mine is not being ready to play warhammer 40k or the fact that it takes so long to get your army set up but with these new power levels it's really easy to get a quick quick game going which is really awesome the only thing i do see is that as we get more comfortable with playing this new edition of Warhammer 40k, the power levels are going to become pointless. Uh, because whenever you're going to fight against your opponent, I've never heard of somebody not being okay with, with fighting against somebody who has an, an uneven army. You always want to be as even as possible. So... I feel like more people are going to lean more towards the old way of playing, which was your 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 set um, point values, rather than this new power level idea. So the power level, I feel, is going to go away, um, especially uh, once we start learning more about match play. Match play is what, the the I guess, the style of game where you actually do what we're doing now and count your points so each unit has its own point value and then you add on uh, war gear and effects and those point values go up basically what we're doing today so i feel like more people as the as the game progresses are gonna want to play match games
But again, for right now, the power levels seem like a big positive. It, it shows that GW is really listening to us when we say uh, we want a shorter game. They want to give us the option of saying, uh, if you don't have time for that four-hour game that you would normally play, well, how about you just play an hour um, and you base your army off of the power levels that we're giving you. So I really like that aspect of this new change. But now it's time for you to give me the feedback. What am I missing? What am I not seeing about this power level and this data sheet that I did not talk about uh, in this video? Comment down below. I'm going to be reading all the information uh, that you leave behind because I'm really interested to to really see what's going on because a lot of the times I might not pick up on uh, certain aspects that uh, you guys will. Um, so I would love to hear from you guys. Comment down in the section below. And if you like these quick little news videos, please support us. Hit that like button, share this on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you use. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. With that said, this was Gershwin with One Mind Syndicate signing out. Oh, <laughs>